Many people today focus heavily on magnesium, and honestly, it's easy to see why. It's the supplement that promises better sleep, less stress, improved mood, and even heart protection. It's often seen as the magic mineral everyone needs. But here's the problem. Most people completely ignore vitamin D. They think, as long as I'm taking magnesium, I'm covered. And that's where everything starts to go wrong. Because what if I told you that those who think that way are actually wrong in every aspect? That's right. Vitamin D plays a critical role in every single one of those areas. People who are deficient in vitamin D have a much higher risk of developing high blood pressure, heart problems, depression, anxiety, and even insulin resistance, no matter how much magnesium they take. You see, magnesium and vitamin D are completely different nutrients, but they share a symbiotic relationship, meaning they depend on each other to work properly. Without vitamin D, your magnesium can't do its job effectively, and without magnesium, your body can't activate vitamin D. That's why in today's video we're going to talk about the five serious things that can happen when you take magnesium supplements while being deficient in vitamin D. We'll also cover the easiest ways to balance these two nutrients and reveal exactly how much vitamin D you need to take from supplements without overwhelming your body. But before we start, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, not just to support our work, but to help this video reach more people who might be one step away from preventing a life-threatening event. Now, let's get started. What happens when you take magnesium but lack vitamin D? 1. Your cells can't fully utilize magnesium. When you take magnesium while being deficient in vitamin D3, your body enters a biochemical hassle that makes it almost impossible for your cells to fully use that magnesium. To understand why, you have to look at how deeply these two nutrients depend on each other at a cellular level. Vitamin D, once activated in the body, doesn't just regulate calcium as most people believe, it also controls the expression of hundreds of genes that affect how your body absorbs, transports and utilizes minerals including magnesium. When your vitamin D levels are low, many of the genes responsible for mineral balance slow down. This means your intestines can't absorb magnesium as efficiently, your kidneys start excreting more of it, and your cells struggle to pull magnesium inside where it's actually needed. Magnesium, on the other hand, is a required cofactor for the enzymes that convert vitamin D into its active form, known as calcitriol. So without magnesium, vitamin D can't become active. But here's the flip side. Without enough active vitamin D, magnesium can't get to where it needs to go. It remains circulating in the bloodstream, often ending up being flushed out through urine instead of entering your cells and powering essential reactions. This is one of the main reasons why many people take magnesium supplements yet still feel the same symptoms of deficiency, like fatigue, muscle cramps, poor sleep, or anxiety, even though they think they're getting enough. Research supports this relationship. A 2018 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that magnesium supplementation significantly influenced vitamin D metabolism, meaning one nutrient directly affects how the other behaves in your body. The study concluded that adequate magnesium is necessary for vitamin D to function properly, and that low magnesium can actually create what's called vitamin D resistance. But other research, including a comprehensive review published in the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association, has shown the reverse is also true. People with vitamin D deficiency absorb and retain far less magnesium, even when taking supplements. This happens because active vitamin D boosts the production of transport proteins and channels in the gut and kidneys that move magnesium across cell membranes. Without vitamin D, those transporters remain sluggish or inactive. So even though your magnesium levels might look normal in a blood test, your cells, where magnesium performs its most vital tasks like generating ATP energy, stabilizing mood, relaxing muscles, and maintaining normal heart rhythm, are still starving for it. 2. Your energy levels crash. When you take magnesium while being deficient in vitamin D3, one of the first things you'll start to notice is that your energy levels begin to crash, and no amount of coffee or extra sleep seems to fix it. That's because magnesium and vitamin D3 work together at the very core of your body's energy production system, the mitochondria, which are often called the powerhouses of your cells. Inside every cell, energy is produced in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate, but here's what most people don't know. ATP is only biologically active when it's bound to magnesium. In other words, magnesium is what allows your body to actually use energy. Without it, 
Your cells can't activate ATP, and every process in your body that relies on energy, from muscle contraction and nerve function to metabolism and brain activity, begins to slow down. Several studies have shown that vitamin D deficiency leads to mitochondrial dysfunction, meaning your cells literally struggle to produce energy. A 2013 study published in Endocrine Research found that people deficient in vitamin D had impaired mitochondrial oxidative phosphorylation, the very process that converts nutrients into usable energy. Another study in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism confirmed that vitamin D deficiency reduces muscle mitochondrial activity, leading to faster fatigue and lower endurance. So when you're taking magnesium but your vitamin D3 levels are low, you're fueling only half of the system. Magnesium may be available to activate ATP, but without enough vitamin D3, your mitochondria are producing less of that ATP in the first place. It's like having plenty of spark plugs, but not enough gasoline. The engine simply can't run efficiently. Vitamin D3 also influences how your cells take up and use magnesium within the mitochondria. Research has shown that vitamin D helps regulate calcium and magnesium transporters that control the electrical charge and energy potential of the mitochondria. When vitamin D is deficient, these transporters become unstable and your cells can't maintain the right mineral balance needed for energy production. This imbalance leads to what many people describe as persistent fatigue, brain fog, and even muscle weakness that magnesium alone can't fix. 3. Your immune system suffers. If you thought magnesium alone is enough to bolster your immunity, think again. While magnesium does play a critical role in reducing inflammation and supporting the production of immune cells, your immune system can't function at its best if your body is deficient in vitamin D3. The truth is, magnesium might help calm inflammation but vitamin D3 is what actually directs and trains your immune system to respond properly. Without it, your defenses become uncoordinated. And that leaves you more vulnerable to infections, inflammation, and even autoimmune problems. Here's how it works. Vitamin D3 acts more like a hormone than a vitamin. Once it's converted into its active form, calcitriol, it binds to vitamin D receptors that are found on nearly every immune cell in your body, including T cells, B cells, and macrophages. These are your body's frontline soldiers, the ones that identify and destroy viruses, bacteria, and damaged cells. But these immune cells can only become fully active when vitamin D3 binds to them. So if you're low in vitamin D, these cells are essentially sleeping soldiers, present, but unable to fight efficiently. Scientific studies confirm this connection. A 2011 review published in Nature Reviews Immunology described vitamin D as one of the key regulators of both the innate and adaptive immune system, showing that deficiency weakens the body's ability to fight infections while increasing chronic inflammation. Another study in the Journal of Investigative Medicine found that people with low vitamin D levels were significantly more likely to develop upper respiratory infections, and that magnesium status influenced how well their immune systems responded. When you take magnesium without adequate vitamin D3, your immune system may still get a mild benefit from magnesium's anti-inflammatory effects, but it lacks direction. 4. Your bones and muscles don't benefit as much. If you've been taking magnesium thinking it's enough to strengthen your bones and keep your muscles relaxed, you're only getting half the benefit. Because here's the truth, magnesium can't do its full job without vitamin D3 and K2 working alongside it. These three nutrients operate like a synchronized team. When one is missing the others can't perform efficiently, and the result is weaker bones, muscle cramps, and a higher risk of both deficiency and long-term damage. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism showed that people deficient in vitamin D experience not only muscle weakness but also frequent cramps and balance problems, something magnesium alone couldn't fix. Now this is where vitamin K2 enters the picture, the missing link that most people completely overlook. Vitamin K2's job is to direct calcium to the right places, into your bones and teeth, while preventing it from being deposited in soft tissues like arteries, joints, and kidneys. Without vitamin K2, taking vitamin D3 can backfire, because as your body absorbs more calcium, some of that calcium can end up in the wrong places, leading to calcified arteries or kidney stones. Imagine it like this, vitamin D3 helps you absorb calcium, magnesium helps you activate vitamin D3 and build bone structure, and vitamin K2 tells calcium where to go. Without that coordination, your body becomes confused, calcium floats aimlessly in your bloodstream, magnesium can't integrate it properly, 
and instead of stronger bones, you could end up with stiffer arteries and tighter muscles. 5. You could experience irregular heartbeat or palpitations. Magnesium is well known for its role in regulating heart rhythm. It helps stabilize electrical activity in the heart and relaxes blood vessels. But without enough vitamin D3, that protective effect can be severely compromised and in some cases, taking magnesium while vitamin D3 is deficient may actually contribute to irregular heartbeats or palpitations. Here's how this happens. Magnesium is crucial for the function of ion channels in the heart, which control the movement of calcium, potassium, and sodium, the very elements that generate the electrical signals driving every heartbeat. But vitamin D3 is just as essential because it regulates calcium balance and the responsiveness of those ion channels. When vitamin D3 levels are low, calcium can accumulate in the wrong compartments of heart cells, or conversely, may be too low in the bloodstream to maintain proper electrical signaling. If you take magnesium while vitamin D3 is deficient, your heart cells may receive extra magnesium, but without vitamin D3 coordinating calcium balance, the magnesium can't fully stabilize the electrical signals. This can lead to an imbalance between intracellular magnesium and calcium, which is exactly what triggers arrhythmias or palpitations in susceptible individuals. Research published in the American Journal of Cardiology has shown that vitamin D deficiency is associated with higher rates of atrial fibrillation and other arrhythmias, even in people with adequate magnesium intake. Now that you understand the connection between magnesium and vitamin D3, the solution becomes straightforward. You need to balance both nutrients together to get the full benefits. The easiest and most natural way to maintain healthy vitamin D3 levels is simply by getting outdoors and exposing your skin to sunlight. Spending long hours indoors, glued to your phone or sitting in the living room, drastically limits your body's ability to produce vitamin D. Make it a goal to spend one to two hours outside each day, soaking in natural sunlight. Even moderate exposure triggers your skin to produce vitamin D3, which is the first step in fixing the deficiency loop. Of course sunlight alone isn't always enough, especially for people living in areas with limited sun, during winter, or for those with darker skin. That's why supplementation is often necessary. If you're taking supplements, aim to pair your magnesium with vitamin D3 and K2. Magnesium, at about 400 mg of elemental magnesium daily, ideally in forms like magnesium glycinate or magnesium mallet, which are gentle on the stomach and well absorbed, is the best starting point. Vitamin D3 should be taken alongside magnesium at a maintenance dose of 5,000 to 10,000 IU daily. This higher range may sound surprising, but for many adults, it's what's required to maintain optimal blood levels and prevent deficiency, especially if you're not getting enough sun. Vitamin K2 is just as important. Taking 50 to 100 mcg of K2 with your vitamin D3 ensures that the calcium your body absorbs is directed to your bones instead of soft tissues like arteries, preventing dangerous calcification. For the exact doses, make sure to please consult your healthcare provider. For best results, take these supplements with a meal containing healthy fats. Vitamin D3 is fat-soluble, so pairing it with foods like avocado, olive oil, eggs, or nuts helps your body absorb and utilize it fully. By combining outdoor sunlight exposure, proper magnesium supplementation, and the right doses of vitamin D3 and K2, you create a feedback loop where magnesium can activate vitamin D3 effectively, vitamin D3 ensures calcium absorption, and K2 guides calcium to the bones. This restores your cellular function, boosts energy, strengthens your muscles and bones, supports your heart, and helps your immune system operate at full capacity. When you finally restore the balance between magnesium and vitamin D3, you'll start noticing subtle yet powerful changes throughout your body, your sleep deepens, leaving you feeling genuinely refreshed in the morning, your mood stabilizes with less anxiety and stress weighing you down, your muscles feel looser and more relaxed while your energy returns naturally without relying on caffeine or stimulants, even your immune system begins to function more efficiently, you catch fewer colds, experience less inflammation, and recover faster when you do get sick. These changes are your body's way of thanking you for finally giving it the nutrients it needed to heal, repair, and operate at its best. It's a reminder that when magnesium and vitamin D3 work together, your body can perform the way it was meant to, balanced, resilient, and full of vitality. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with friends or family who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss more videos that can help you improve your health, energy, and overall well-being. 
Your support not only helps the channel grow but also ensures that more people can learn how to balance magnesium and vitamin D3 for a healthier life. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.